is wiping the face with hands after dua a sunnah practice? If not, what is the origin of this particular practice? This is a good example of uh, something that is weak versus something that is bid'ah. As Rama, they mentioned this example specifically. You know, if someone wipes his, head, his face after the dua, this is a weak opinion. It's not according to the sunnah, but it's not to be called bid'ah. Uh, we have to be careful. Because why people do this? What's the origin of it? There is weak narrations and it's not authentic. So the narration is, on, is not authentic. And as a rule, if it's not authentic, we don't build an action upon it. And this is, by the way, all of the ulama are upon this. This is not in fadail a'mal. Fadail a'mal, if it's weak, it does not change anything of your actions. So if something that is hadith weak in the virtue of salatul fajr, you're praying fajr anyway because you know that it's virtue. This is the weak hadith that it's okay to use. But the weak hadith in, to initiate an action, this is to stay away from such a thing. But if someone does it, it's not a bid'ah. It's not an, an innovation. And if someone says, no, uh, the sheikh so-and-so, he said that the narration, this particular narration is authentic, for example. Then uh, he has something that he's acting upon this based on something. So, uh, But the hadith, the narrations of it is not authentic. So that's why it's not to be done. Uh, and uh, if it was done, how many times the Sahaba radiallahu anhum saw the Prophet والسلام, making dua and raising his hand in dua? Not even one narration, authentic narration that says the Prophet والسلام, every time he would make dua, he would wipe his face. Or someone would see that clearly uh, in the way of the Prophet. والسلام. And the same people, many of them, those who would do this, they don't take the the one hadith from one sahabi when it comes to something, an action in the salah. So maybe just this one. Where is the rest? You know, things like that are repeated so many times. Especially if it's done after salah. After each salah, the adhkar is done. People do this. And then they do this. The Prophet ﷺ praying five times a day. Leading the people every day. And he turned his face towards them. And he says the adhkar alayhi salatu wasalam. Not even one narration that says that after he finished the adhkar, he raised his hand. Don't use the word dua because all of the adhkar are dua. Not even one narration that says that he raised his hand and the people raised their hands and then after that they wiped their faces with it. Not even one narration. So it shows that this is not from the sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam.